So the House of Representatives met today to try to meet the demands that President Donald Trump listed about the economic relief bill and the 14 appropriations associated with the funding of the federal government. Those demands, of course, were to remove the wasteful foreign spending and to increase the $600 checks to $2,000 checks. This meeting that the House of Representatives has today is called a pro forma meeting, which means if they're going to bring any one of these proposals to the floor, they must have unanimous consent. And we, the American people, know that the House of Representatives can't unanimously consent on anything. I'm pretty sure if they brought to the floor that ice cream is awesome, there'd be a person who'd be like, uh, yeah, it's not awesome. So then what did happen today? Well, I'm going to share that with you exactly what went down so you can see the snakes that they are. But a lot of people want to know what's going to happen next. If President Donald Trump doesn't sign this thing, what does that mean? What is the House of Representatives going to do next week? I'm going to share that with you as well. So it was Democrat Steny Hoyer from Maryland who brought forth the provision to increase the $600 checks to $2,000 checks. And that was almost immediately blocked by Kevin McCarthy, who is the minority leader from California. And Kevin McCarthy is a Republican. Then Republican Ron Whitman brought forth the provision to get rid of the wasteful foreign spending in the bill. And that was immediately blocked by Democrats. You heard me right. A Democrat brought forth the provision to increase the checks to 2000. That was blocked by a Republican. The Republicans brought forth the provision to get rid of the wasteful spending. And that was blocked by a Democrat. Welcome to our House of Representatives and, of course, the snakes that they are. So there was no unanimous consent, meaning they couldn't actually do anything today. But that didn't stop Nancy Pelosi from coming out and issuing this statement. If the president is serious about the $2,000 direct payments, he must call on the House Republicans to end their obstruction. Yeah, OK, that's fine. What about the obstruction of the Democrats when it came to ending the uh, wasteful foreign spending? She said nothing about that. So I'm actually in agreement with that half part of the statement that President Donald Trump does, in fact, need to tell the Republicans it stopped with the nonsense. Stop with the fiscal conservativity. Now's the time to give the American people the money they need. But then he also needs to turn towards the Democrats and say, guys, stop it with the uh, wasteful foreign spending, okay? Because we know that you're supporting that as well. So everyone, it's like little children who are fighting, but you did this. And you know how they, there might be some truth to that, but they're not telling the whole thing? That's exactly what's going on right now. So what's going to be next then? Well, the Congress isn't slated to meet back together until Monday the 28th. So that's going to be the day when the Congress gets together and they don't need a unanimous consent at that point, but they're going to start to di discuss the issues at hand. If you saw my video from yesterday, President Donald Trump did not go into the end zone as far as I'm concerned. He needed to list off exactly what he's going to do. And right now we are in a little bit of a limbo area. Nobody knows what's really going on. Is he still going to sign it? Is he not going to sign it? Is he he just going to wait? Is he just going to let it die? Is he going to let it go past the year? We don't really know. I really hope President Donald Trump issues a clarifying statement between now and the 28th to tell Congress exactly what he's looking for, and then he can let them make that decision. I am hoping in the meeting of the 28th that they can come together and they can get rid of the line items that are clearly wasteful spending and research programs like counting amber jack fish and the impact of fallen trees and coral reef that we don't really need right now. So granted, maybe we need those in another bill sometime a year from now. But right now, we don't need to be spending the American people's money during a pandemic on those things. Then they can come together and say, you know what? People do, in fact, need help. Let us stop being so stingy. We can add another $1,400 to the $600 check. We can give it to the American people. If there's inflationary problems down the line because of all of the money we're instituting, there are things that they can do to limit the impact of those inflationary problems. But right now we need to help the American people out. I hope that they can come together and do that. On this channel, I will keep you up to date on exactly what they're talking about and where they're going. I don't have that much hope though for our Congress because I don't think they can get together really on anything, but maybe some sort of a little bit of a miracle is going to happen and they're going to be able to do it. But President Donald Trump is going to have to be really forceful. The other thing to look at during this break and as we figure out what's going on is the senatorial runoffs in Georgia, because if both Democrats win that, then I don't think that the Democrats are really going to care what happens either way. And they're going to be able to pass whatever they want because they're going to have control of the Senate. However, if even one Republican wins in those runoffs, then they're not going to be able to do that. And they're going to have to compromise big time here. And hopefully the Republicans will listen to Trump and the Democrats will get on board with getting rid of the wasteful spending. So that's what we're looking for next. The 28th, when the House meets up again, looking at the Georgia runoffs, seeing if President Donald Trump can issue a clarifying statement and how all of that is going to break down. We will keep you up to date here. As always, I will catch you 
next time.